Good day, dear teachers, once again in the Division of Marikina City. I am again your Education Program Supervisor, Ms. Leia A. De Leon. I am in charge of the Kindergarten Teachers and the Madrasa Education Program. This afternoon, I am tasked to present to you the assessment process using the blended learning delivery. Now, what do we mean again when we say blended learning delivery? This is a combination of the both modular learning delivery and online learning delivery. Here, the, our learners have the capacity to go online because they have their gadgets and they have connection with the internet. And at the same time, they are also provided with a copy of the modules. This morning, our education program supervisor in English, Ms. Janet S. Kahugiran, had clearly given us an overview on what assessment is all about, how we are going to prepare the assessment, and why do we need to present or give the assessment to our learners. So on the different type of assessment for the written works and performance tasks, the computation for each type of assessment was also delivered. Now for the modular process flow, we also have there the different steps that the teachers will have to follow, the roles that the learners will have to follow, and also the roles that our parents or guardians will have to follow. Now since for the blended learning delivery, this is just a combination of both the online and modular learning delivery, we will just have to follow the same procedure here. Going back to the steps presented by our education program supervisor in Education sa Pagpapakatao, Ms. Lailani and Villanueva, she had clearly presented to us the steps on how to go online using the Learn platform or the Quizalize. And for our secondary learners, they are using our Learn platform for the synchronous mode of delivery. Now, let's have the steps now or the different processes that our learners, teachers, and parents will have to follow once they are using the blended learning delivery. Since by default, our learners or majority of our learners are using the modular learning delivery, we will have to follow the, uh, the same procedure as what we have in the modular learning delivery. So for the teachers here, they have to still follow step one. They have to prepare the weekly home learning plan following the schedule in the budget of work as given by their supervisors. After which, they have also to prepare uh, their assessment if they see to it, if they feel that the learners need to have a different type of assessment depending on the learning gaps or depending on the needs of the learners. But in our modules, we already have there as stated this morning, our modules or all our modules have already their post assessment. So the teacher may choose to have or record the post assessment found in the modules, or if they may choose, they can also prepare their own set of written assessment, which they think is appropriate for their learners. After preparing those assessment tests, the student now or the learners will have to answer the given assessment test and perform the different tasks given in their performance. After which, the student will also have again submit uh, also the learner or the parent feedback form, which is found at the last part or the last page of the module guide, and submit this parent or feedback form to the school or to the teacher following the schedule as stated in the weekly home learning plan. Then how about the role of the parent or the guardian? Same with the other mode of learning delivery, our parent or guardian will only serve as guide or they will just monitor also their uh, student, I mean their child, as they accomplish the different tasks in the blended learning delivery in their modules and both on their online during synchronous time. So the blended learning is somewhat very easy for our teachers and for our learners since this is a combination of both the modular, so that students can answer the module, and the teacher can have a separate schedule on the online synchronous in order to clarify some uh, 
topics if the learners are having some difficulty in the type of the different parts of the module. So that's how simple and easy is the blended learning delivery. So we just have to combine using the module and have a separate schedule for our learners to go online, whether synchronous or asynchronous. So I think that would be all for the different types of the um, assessment that should be given to our learners. Once again, we have the modular learning delivery. We also have assessment that is appropriate for our learners who are going online. And we also have assessment for our learners who are using the blended learning delivery wherein they have both their modules and they have the capacity to go online. Thank you so much once again, dear teachers, continue learning. I hope that you still have fun and at the same time learning as we finish this five day in-service training for all of you, dear teachers. Thank you so much and good day.